It, get, it, get, it gets better, though, because the Democrats say they have a bombshell, and that's Ambassador Taylor revealing another phone call between President Trump and Ambassador Sondland. But, but that, too, was an aide who heard it at a restaurant on a cell phone. What does that do to things? It, 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 it just doesn't pass the red face test. You know, yeah. I'm kind of reminded of the movie A Few Good Men when Colonel Jessup says to Lieutenant McCafferty, this is all you got, the contents of a footlocker and some phone records? I mean, if you have have a smoking gun, if you have killer evidence, introduce it. Let's hear it. We all have an open mind, right? This isn't a who done it. We know what happened. We knew what happened as soon as the transcript was released. So if you have something good, let's hear it. Well, the president says he might release the transcript from that first phone call today. How does that change things? You know, that is a pretty good piece of evidence. Let's see what happened. But yeah. when you're calling witnesses who have second or third hand knowledge of what transpired, we really don't care. It's the theater of the absurd. So, so that, that's where we are, the theater of the absurd, as you say. And I hear you, but there's this quick push to impeach. We've been hearing about it for months. What are the chances? In the new normal that we are, this political um, just hatred on both sides, that this backfires on oh, Democrats. I I think there's a real good chance that this backfires. This is kind of like a kabuki theater. Mm -hmm. We know exactly what's going to happen. He's going to be impeached. Uh, the Senate isn't going to remove right. him. And this sort of activity, it sucks all the oxygen out of the room. You know, we have really important issues out there like health care, gun control, immigration reform, stuff that the American public cares about. The American public doesn't care yeah. about this. If you want to know why Congress's rating is so low, less than 20 percent, it's because of stuff like this. Yeah. And you know what's so, um, for lack of a better word, funny about all of this is as these hearings were going on, the market was hitting record highs. That's so it right. just goes I mean, that's to what... show you where the attention of the country really is. Of course, that's what the American people care about. They care about the stock market. They care about the economy. They care about jobs. They don't care about this. That's why Congress's approval uh, rating is so low. We all know what's going to happen, right? We know this entire thing is like the, a, th a theater, and everybody knows how it's going to end, and it's silly. It's stupid. The American people don't want it. All right. Well, we got more tomorrow and next week, but Andrew Sultan, maybe we'll have you back on. Thank you for Thank this you. morning.